And a police chase in Lakewood ended along 132nd Street in Cleveland. News Channel 5's Mario Liu has the latest all new this morning. Mario, good morning. What happened? Yeah, Kim, this morning, good morning. You know, it's really something out of a Hollywood script. You couldn't write something like this. Lakewood police try and make just a regular routine traffic stop, but the suspects don't stop. They bring police on a low-speed chase throughout this residential area, and of all the houses to hit, they hit the house of a Cleveland police officer. Now, try and follow me here. Here's what happened. When uh, the suspect came around this area, he just barely missed this gray car. Then the car comes up through these yards again barely missing all of the cars that you see here the suspects at that point bail they hit and run over these lines that's when they both get out of the car and jump also the car then continues to drive here 30 miles per hour missing the twigs here and this very very large tree now then at that point uh, the car with no one inside continues to roll through the street, comes across the street, again, not hitting any of the cars that you see here on this street. Instead, it comes here across the street, missing a car that was parked here in this driveway and landing right here on the front porch of the house of this Cleveland police officer. No one hurt in this. One of the suspects was uh, arrested. We were able to speak with one man who saw the whole thing and says that this car could have hit his parked truck. Well, usually when I come home, I'll park the, the truck closer to the end of the driveway down here. And uh, But just for whatever reason tonight, I decided to back it up into the driveway. It turned out to be a good choice because I see where the vehicle had come up the sidewalk here. Probably would have plowed right into the side of it. Now, again, that uh, man talking about the fact that this runaway car could have smashed into the side of this truck. It's really a miracle that this car, with no one inside, did not hit anyone. Now, the Cleveland police officer was uh, monitoring this chase on her radio. Uh, she heard about it. She did not realize that this car landed at her house until she got a text message from her sister. A little earlier this morning, the accident investigation unit was out here on the scene. This whole thing is still under investigation, but a very bizarre our way to, to end your shift, I'm sure, if you're this Cleveland police officer. For now, reporting live in Lakewood, Marielle Lou, News Channel 5. Okay.